guys, we're going to talk about the Peng Robinson equation uh, a little bit because we're not going to do a lot of exercise on this. It's just to let you know that this exists and why it's important. It's pretty similar to that of Bradley Kwong, which is already complex because it's a modification of that of Van der Waals, and it is going to take into account the critical properties of that substance and the eccentric factor which I think is pretty awesome because then you're going to have more characterized equation to that substance. It's accurate to near critical conditions, so if you're approaching the critical point, which is critical pressure, temperature, it's still valid. And many equations are not that valid, so this is a good th thing about that. And must be able to be used in mixtures, not only pure substances. We're going to analyze mixtures later, but you're going to see that it's a little bit uh, of a worry when you are talking about pure substances and mixtures. Here's the equation. I know it's a lot. This is the actual equation, but the actual equation has a lot of variables. For example, A is calculated with this value here, this little A. Then you got B. You're going to see that B is of a quadratic form here, 1 to B b square and you have alpha which is inside of this equation right here it's still a correction to the volume and what else do we have we have inside alpha we got this k which is right here and this k depends on the eccentric factor which is the one that actually describes the best molecule so this will account for the molecule shape the reduced properties here and the critical properties here will account as well for that substance and this is good because we are going to have a better model fit and once again if you want to check out the problem on the Peng Robinson or yeah Peng Robinson equation go check it out here because I am not going to do it here I think it's way too much equations and yeah essentially we done exercise you already know how to plug the numbers but if you really, really, really want to check it out, go and check it right here. Go to the courses and we're done, guys. This was the last equation. We're going to see a new concept, which I think is pretty awesome compared to this equation of states. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.